COVID-19 hit home for News Aid back in March when our own Sean Stiles tested positive for the virus. Fortunately, he didn't suffer from any severe symptoms. And because of that, he was chosen to become part of an antibody study. Here's Sean with his COVID-19 story. When I planned a ski trip to France in early March for my wife and I, COVID-19 was not a pandemic. But when we returned on March 11th, the World Health Organization had declared it so. And the president, he had put a ban on travel from Europe. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. We were in the French Alps about two hours outside of Geneva, Switzerland. Italy was two hours away and we were monitoring the situation and all was well as we started our return home March 11th. It was literally while we were in flight, everything changed. The CDC now listed France and Switzerland as countries that upon return, you needed to stay at home and self monitor for 14 days. If you followed me on social media, you would have seen my post with updates. 97.6. All was good until day 14 when I started having minor lower intestine problems and a slight fever but nothing else, so I thought it might be a flare-up of my diverticulitis. So I called my doctor and they agreed, but because I had just returned from Europe, they had me come in for a COVID-19 test. By late the next day, I got the call. I had COVID-19. That's what's so scary about the virus. You can go undetected or show almost no symptoms and you can spread it without knowing. For me, it lasted all of two days, but instead of monitoring, I would now be quarantined for 14 more days, but still be able to work. How about some 100s in our forecast? It was about a month later, I was called by my doctor, Dr. Perlman, about some research. You're, the reason for your visit today is only antibody testing? Yes. The Perlman Clinic is working with Famitech on how the body develops antibodies and how that might fight COVID-19. Here are some acronyms that you'll want to remember. IgG and IgM. Those are immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin M, and they give you different kind of protection that lasts for a different amount of time. The test is very simple, but it can see if there's antibodies in my blood. And I need to get a full drop of blood, which is about 50 mLs, and now I'm going to put buffer, two drops. As the blood works its way up the cassette, red markers will appear, showing IgM and IgG antibodies that fought COVID-19, and those that remain to fight again. This all takes just 10 minutes. This is really exciting. So like I showed you, the control line is red, the IgG line is red, so it means you have IgG antibodies to the, hopefully, Corona-19, COVID-19 virus. Here's how the antibodies work. Then you start making this little IgM, the immunoglobulin M antibody. It's the IgM that fights the COVID-19 virus and kills it. And the long-term IgG antibody gets produced and it lingers and that's the one that came positive in the arm. The 30 test samples that were collected by Perlman Clinic for Famitech research was not to develop a vaccine, but to better understand how the body produces antibodies against COVID-19. I think this virus is so new that I don't really, I can't even begin to answer what kind of uh, immune response you get and how long it's good for. And that's the purpose of testing. The jury is still out if antibodies protect you from another bout of COVID-19. So the best way to prevent that, wash your hands, social distancing, and wear a face mask. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Sean, we are just happy that you are well and safe.